Hey everyone, it's Benice here, your Community Outreach Specialist. I don't know if I mentioned this, but today I am with the Willacoochee River Electric Co-op and I am going to be spending some time with some linesmen and some journeymen to show you guys what they do. And also, we provided uh, WREC with a check for the Vincent Academy that we will be starting in Pasco County, the third in the state. So stay tuned for some information on that. Let's see what we can get into today. <laughs> Hey everyone, okay, you might remember Dave Lambert. Hey everybody. With W-R, Lacoochee River, W-R-E-C? No. With Lacoochee River Electric Quad. Yes, okay, yep. come through with the acronyms. Okay, today I am out, we are gonna, I'm gonna be on a line possibly. She's we, gonna spend the day with a yes, lineman. Yes, yes, it's gonna be really interesting because <laughs> we all know how I feel about heights, but we're gonna show you some cool stuff that they do. But beforehand, we wanted to talk to you guys about the Vinson House because we, you, all of you are starting the third Vinson Academy in the state of Florida. Yep. So tell our followers, what does that even mean? So Vinson House is a great model. It was started by Diane and Elliot Steele mm -hmm. and it's a partnership. Uh, with us uh, to bring Vincent House here and uh, Vincent House is a recovery through work uh, center it what? operates five it's awesome it operates five yes. days a week mm -hmm. we opened in Hernando about 20 months ago and, and received our national accreditation which is the gold standard for clubhouses mm -hmm. in 20 months we have about 80 members there Love it. we're fixing ready to break ground on a brand new building here it's in Pasco it's gonna be you just huge. seen the plan mm -hmm. it's gonna be nice yes and uh, it's going to help mem uh, folks, we call our people who come to Vincent House mm -hmm. members, you have to have a mental health diagnosis. Mm -hmm. um, and then we teach job training skills, we partner with local employers mm -hmm. to get people back to work. So Pasco County Housing Authority is one of our folks that we've mm -hmm. recently partnered with, Career Source, the Public Defender's Office, mm -hmm. and the Sheriff just donated money to help get Vincent House started, our new building. So mm -hmm. thank you, Sheriff. Thank you, everybody <laughs> who helps the Sheriff. We greatly appreciate it because it's truly a community. Exactly. And we work with the Sheriff on a lot of things. Exactly. And the Sheriff and the office and the folks that we do really care. So mm -hmm. it is a great thing for us mm -hmm. to do. And uh, I think you're going to love Vincent House. It's going to be a yes. great addition to the community. I can't wait. And it's going to great be a great asset mm -hmm. to our community. So it's, exactly. it's going do phenomenal work. Go in there like you own the place. I am here. Thank Not you very awesome. much. I'm here All for right. my gear. What we have. Okay. Break it down for me. This is your hard hat you're gonna wear today. Okay. Okay. Hard hat. You did good. We oh. gave you a brand new one. Ooh, love it. Okay. okay. Safety glasses. This is all PPE, personal protective equipment that okay. the crews wear every day. Okay. Okay. You got a vest. Anytime we're working on the roadway, public roadway. Have to be got, seen. We gotta be seen. Exactly. Okay. Got a vest. Last item is a bucket lander. Okay. Uh, this is what you will wear when you go up in the bucket. This okay. This is what every every uh, lineman wears here at the, at the co-op. Uh, it's called, it's a fall protection device. Okay. And you put oh, this goodness. on and it snaps onto the side of the boom. So okay. if anything was to happen, you it would be ejected not. out of the boom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a pack in here that will come stretchy, stretchy out. Okay. Where it won't uh, break your back. Oh, goodness. Okay. So that's all your stuff for this today. This is my gear. Yep. So we'll get her loaded up for you. Okay, hey everyone, so I am here with Sal and with Christian 
who I am technically on their crew today. So we gotta like squeeze hands, guys. We gotta squeeze. There we go. I'm technically on their crew today, and Sal is a journeysman, and Christian is a linesman, and his apprenticeship. Yes. So what we're gonna do today? We're gonna go out and do some maintenance, housing maintenance. I might get in a bucket. We'll see how my, my fears of heights works out. But uh, are you guys ready? Yeah. Are you guys, okay. yeah. yeah. Say hello <laughs> to our YouTube fam. Hello. How's it going? All right. Say that one more time. What does this yeah. truck do? This is a this is a service truck. So we'll do uh, just like regular service maintenance work, mm -hmm. and we'll also answer trouble calls. So if people have problems, power right. outages. Okay. We are the first guys to respond to that. Okay. What's a what's a maintenance call? Is it just oh obviously just like, like upkeep? And yeah, they'll up? give us okay. a list of things to do today. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to start off with a, a disconnect rollback for a demolition house. Okay, so cutting off power for a house that needs yep. to get knocked down. Okay, I got this. Okay. Look at this. Okay. So are you ready to go? I'm ready. All right. I don't have to wear my hat just yet, guys, but I got all my gear. We're good. So we'll look at this and we'll verify the last three on the meter. That way we know we're in the right location. So we're in the right spot. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll now go look at where we're going to set up the truck to uh, de-energize the surface. And uh, we're going to cut this, cut this here and we're going to roll it back to that hole right there. Okay. And what is this one called right here? We are... This is a temporary disconnect for okay. demolition. Okay, good stuff. So there'll be another home here eventually, and they'll reuse this service. Okay, gotcha. And what he'll do is we're gonna, we usually just kind of take a look at it where we want to set the truck up. So we got all these wires right here, so we can't really boom into them. Okay. So we'll just set the truck up, probably something like this right here, mm -hmm. and then he'll boom and disconnect it. What's your favorite thing about this job? Kristen. Favorite thing. Yes, your favorite thing. I would say probably doing different stuff every day. There being you outside, go. Being outside, mm -hmm. just working with my hands. Not so. having to sit inside of a yeah, desk. Not and a being cubby. inside. That's great. Why'd I call it a cup? Verify it goes uh, dead here. Okay. We're just gonna watch the voltage go down. So we know he's pulling the right legs, and that this can is going dead before I go third cut the wires. So that'll be half. Oh, okay. It's a temporary disconnect, roll back. <laughs> Before it dies, okay, tell our followers about the apprenticeship program. Yes, right, um, what do you guys have to say? Well, yeah. when you first start, mm -hmm. you're a pre-apprentice. Okay. So you go your first year, um, you're not on the trouble list. Mm -hmm. um, basically just work the eight to five. Mm -hmm. and trouble list mean not that you're in trouble, yeah, but no. that you're you're doing like the emergency calls basically. Yes, and then mm -hmm. after you take your first year test, and you're Apprentice alignment, mm -hmm. and then you're on the trouble list, and I think 
three weeks out of the year you're on call. Okay, that's not bad. Lucky? No, <laughs> it's not too Like, bad. we, oh, that's not bad. <laughs> and then every year you take a step test until mm -hmm. you get to your five years, and then, then you're uh, training qualified after you take a fifth okay. year test. And, uh, and once, so once a month you have a classroom yes, day. Once a month you have a class, and then once a month you have to take a test. Okay. And then once a year, you take a yearly test yes, too. Take, once a year, you take a yearly test and mm -hmm. you take a uh, yearly climb test. Oh, so that's yes. not so the guys that were out there climbing earlier today, they have to do that once a week. He said you yes, have to we go have climb. To climb once okay, a week. just and you just you can do it at any day, just with whoever yep. your journeyman is. Okay. Yep, sometimes we have to climb the street lights, uh, transformers. Okay, so like field climbing. hours basically, like you're like logging like field hours. Yes. Right? Okay, okay. And we also do that too. We have to get a certain amount of hours in each task. Mm -hmm. Every year. Okay. And uh, at the end of it, we have to have so many hours mm -hmm. for the apprenticeship. I feel like it, it's not too bad, but if you're not cut out for it, guys, you're not cut out for it. But that's yeah. Hey, wave bye to everyone. This will be the last time they probably see you this time. Maybe. Amazing.